Hello, my name is Joel Z. Williams, and today I'm going to do a unboxing, I guess, of sorts of the Go Wireless, I'm sorry, Rhodes Wireless Go. So this is about, let me make sure I can give you, get that, get the young lady in there with the picture, and of course you can see some of the specs, 2.4 gigahertz, and of course I'm going to show you a photo of all the stuff that came in the kit. Now I got this from Alto Music. This is a company out of uh, Mechanicsville, New York, I believe. I live in Washington, DC. This thing arrived two days later. I was really happy with that. I'm just ecstatic about the sound quality for the price point. Cost about $200 overall. I think it was $194, but after taxes and, and whatnot, uh, about 200 bucks. But I gotta tell you, this little bit Bitty microphone is awesome, okay? It's a game changer. I really don't like to do product reviews. I think it's kind of hokey and pretentious, but I, I wanted to tell you about the best aspect of this system because I think it's really underrated and I, I think Rhodes is doing themselves a disservice by not playing it up more. The Rhodes, let me give you a little background. They are a, an audio company. I think they were founded in 1967. They're in Australia, Sydney, Australia. They make really good audio equipment. Of course, you've got a lot of good audio manufacturers out there. You've got Sennheiser, Sony. There, there are a lot of good um, microphone um, producers out there, but for, for the money and the portability and the size, I, I think this, this system is really hard to beat for a couple of reasons. The number one reason is the portability. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, I forgot who the filmmaker was. It might have been Brian De Palma. It might have even been Oliver Stone. But they, it was one of those master classes that you watch on TV. And they were, some, one of the students was asking, what's the best camera and audio setup? What's the best equipment to get? And they said, quite simply, it's the one that you have prepared and ready to go. That's always the best equipment that you have in your toolkit. A lot of times, if you're in this business of making YouTube videos and whatnot, you'll have very expensive DSLR cameras and really big honking studio microphones. Um, but it takes time to unpack that. You gotta get it out of your camera bag. You gotta unwind the, the, the cords. You gotta get it ready to go. These little suckers, it's two pieces basically. It's the receiver and the transmitter, the mic and the receiver, which I have mounted on my camera. Um, it's very easy to do. These things come with um, USB-C charging, so you can charge them. They have an internal battery. I, I was looking at a lot of the pros and cons before I bought this mic, and there were a lot of people belly aching about, oh, it has its internal built um, battery, and I don't, I don't want to, you know, if that, ba that battery goes bad, I'm stuck with $200 uh, crap. And my response to that is, that's one less hassle that you have to worry about. What size battery do I have? Double A? Do I have C? Do I have nine volt? You know, that's one less hurdle that you have to overcome if you just keep them charged up at home all, all the time ready to go. And then when you're ready to go shoot or, or maybe even in your home, you just unplug them and you pop them in, they're ready to go. But the most critical, crucial component of this setup is, has got to be the size. Now there's a funny thing that happens if you um, interview people for a living or you talk to people on the street, it's a weird thing that happens when you hand them a big studio microphone or you put a big studio, studio microphone in their face. Probably the best example of this is Andre Dotson. Um, many of you guys will remember the Bad Intruder from 2010, I believe it was. It was in Huntsville, Alabama. This guy, um, some some uh, pervert, broke into the, the their apartment on the second story. Um, he encountered a, 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 a woman, a young lady, and she screamed. On Antoine Dotson is her brother. He heard the scream. He comes out. <clears throat> There's a tussle in the hallway. The guy turns around and runs out the window and slips away. He's gone. That's the whole story, right? But now, you know, he's got a TV camera there. There's probably a van with one of those microphones that they 
you know, extend 10 feet in the air, and there's everybody's, the neighborhood is, everybody's out on their ports looking, and then they, the, the reporter puts the big studio microphone into his face, and it's, it's almost an expectation to perform. Like, you, you, whatever you say, you have to match the magnitude of, of what's going on. You know, you got this whole news crew, probably got a camera guy there with a big honking camera, and there's this, this, um, phenomenon where people feel like they have to kind of scale up what really happened to match the significance of what's going on. But, you know, you hand somebody this little tiny mic, and uh, of course it has the um, dead cat cover on there, and this is to protect from, uh, in the industry, they call it plosives. These are the, the words with the hard P's and T's, like uh, trooper or pickle, you know, so, so that you don't hear that puff that uh, sound on, on the mic, but without it, it's even smaller, and it's about the size of a matchbox, you know, and, and there's a strange thing that happens. If you walk up to somebody on the street, and you're interviewing, and you hand them this little thing, they naturally grab it and hold it just like you were holding it. And because it's so small, they don't feel the, the, the pressure to kind of embellish their story or make it more interesting. And it's a really powerful tool to get more accurate information, more organic interview. And I don't think Rhodes is really selling that aspect, that component of it to the market. I, I really think they're doing themselves a disservice. And so that's why I really wanted to make this video. For 200 bucks, you got a wireless mic. It has a clip on it too. I, I prefer to hold it or maybe even clip it, clip it to my shirt. But the internal mic is just one option. It, it has a 3.5 jack uh, on, on the actual transmitter here, the mic where you could put a lavalier, a, a really good high quality lavalier, I think you can get one for less than $100. But that would even give you more, uh, it's, it's less intrusive, you know, you just clip it to your, to your collar. Um, it's very tiny, but it, it's, it's very powerful and, and very sensitive. Um, but I, I don't know if you really need that. If you're doing um, what, uh, YouTube videos or, or just blogs for Instagram or TikTok or something like that, I don't think you really need it. This is really all you, you need. It's it's very portable, very light. You can put it in your pocket. And I don't know if you're aware, but I am in, in a small apartment in Washington, D.C., and I have an air conditioner running full blast. And that's a, and a fan overhead as well. You can barely hear that. And that, that's an excellent sound quality um, addition that I think is really, really good. So again, I, I would recommend the Rhodes Wireless Go for about 200 bucks. Again, I got this one from Alto Music. Um, oh, I forgot. It has a seven-hour battery life, and this is really interesting because the other day, I, I think I shot something, and I, you know, I put my equipment away, and I, I keep the my charger equipment right here by my TV underneath my TV on the um, what do you call it? The TV stand, and I'm I'm watching the next day. I'm watching TV, and I saw some something green kind of catch my eye. And the transmitter was showing the that it was working. You know, the, the, like it was showing the it was registering the decibel levels, because it was hearing the sound from the TV. And I I hadn't had that thing plugged in for probably a good day. So I don't. I'm skeptical. I I think it might even be greater than seven hours. Of course, the manufacturer will tell you that you'll get at least seven hours out of it. But I think it's quite the the battery life is quite longer than that. But that's all, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I really, for the money that you're going to spend, I think you cannot go wrong with this system. And it's, uh, I'll show you a picture, but it clips your camera very easily. And um, of course you can carry it in your, in your pocket. And with that uh, 3.5 um, adapter, you could even attach it to your cell phone if you wanted to. So again, my name is Joel Z. Williams. Thank you very much for your time. And I recommend this product.